I'm sure that the people who are watching this have, have seen this old boy here in this uh, red coat all day and, and wondered when's he going to say something, when's he going to talk. This is little David Wilkins. Yeah. Who, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Now, I, I say Little David. You've always gone by the name Little David, but you told me when you came in here today, how much weight have you lost? 107 pounds. Wow. wow. In a year. In one year? One year. Wow. Now, there's a story about that coat, and, and is this the reason you've lost the weight so you could wear this particular coat? Yeah, let me coat? tell you, Owen Bradley named me Little David, and they had to send my contract back to New York and redo it. They couldn't. They said, well, you might sue us if uh, we put you out under that name. We did that. Of course, John and Russell and I have been friends. We're, we're friends for almost 30 years. And uh, I, I saw Johnny wear this coat on the Christmas special. I said, man, that's the first coat I've ever seen. He said, brought it to me. He said, you can have it. Here it is. So anyway, I had to have it cut down quite a bit in the last couple of weeks to, you know, make it fit. But Johnny, he, uh, would, he, he, he went through a tremendous amount of clothing. And uh, he would always bring me stuff here. You might like this jacket, or you might like this or that and the other. But he was a good, he was a wonderful person, and we had a lot of great times. We would have written a lot of, a lot of songs. I hope a hit songs, but we'd get one verse done. He'd say, "Let's go eat." <laughs> Every time. Let's go eat. Yeah. So we had uh, Johnny and I ate a lot of food. I tell you that right now. <laughs> He was something else. Yes. And that's the very coat that he wore when we did the family reunion That's Christmas. exactly right. Wow. I think Margot Smith sat on his lap and sang, him, uh, sang to him. We were talking about him being like mistaken for Santa Claus back then. But uh, anyway, we, we had a lot of great times and did a lot of shows together. And uh, one time, Kenny Price was, Kenny Price, the late Kenny Price was a big guy like us and Guy up close to Chicago decided he'd put a show on with, with Kenny Price, John Russell, and myself. And they named it The Thousand Pounds of Country Sound. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what happened, you know, I got all the, uh, uh, we all did fat jokes. So I went out first, and I did all the fat jokes, and they, they just were furious. <laughs> what are we going to do now? <laughs> we had two sold-out shows, so... The second show, they made me go on last. <laughs> I didn't do anything. But it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, give, give me a sample of a fat joke. Well, I'm trying to get down to my original weight of <laughs> 7 pounds and 12 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny, won, let me tell you what he did to me. We always went to the movie about once a week. Tuesday or Thursday, according to our show dates, you know, on the road. And... We go to all the, the 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 new movies, and Johnny would uh, tell me a joke and say, hey, "What do you think about this for the opera Saturday night?" I'd say, "Yeah, your name by what I thought, but it was always good." And so one time he he asked me for two or three days. Now, what all are you telling on the road? What all are you saying on the fat jokes? I told him all my fat jokes. <laughs> so we're coming out of I'm in the back of the bus uh, trying to go to sleep. We'd played Houston and Little Rock. And coming out of Little Rock, and the bus, uh, somebody started knocking on my back door of the bus, hollering, get up here quick, quick. Johnny Russell's doing your whole show. So he did, he did all the fat jokes that I had told him that night. And so the next day, you know, we got in, and I didn't get up till about 3 o'clock. And, and he called, and I said, man, I heard you doing my show last night. You sounded good. I said, you've ruined my show. He said, well, you can do any of my jokes you want to, so it don't matter. <laughs> but it was just, you, you'd have to be there to really, really like uh, the things we went through. It was, it was really something. And Sheb Woolley and John and I ran around a lot together. And John and you, every eating place, you know, anywhere around. He took us to Galton one day and said, y'all have got to try this sweet potato pie at this restaurant in Galton. I don't even remember the name of it. We went way around behind a hardware store or something, and so Sheb, Wooly, and myself, and Johnny was there, and he said, bring us a piece of the potato, sweet potato pie. We had that, and he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. They make some of the best coconut pie here you have ever eaten, <laughs> oh too. God. So Sheb ate his coconut, I ate mine, Johnny ate his. 
<laughs> and we got through with that, and he says, oh. no, he said, we're not through yet. And Shep said, well, I am. <laughs> he said, they've got some great chocolate pie. They're all homemade. <laughs> so I'm a big, big eating fool, so I had chocolate pie, and he did, and Sheb almost got sick watching us. <laughs> but it was wonderful. We well, always had we, fun. Every time we get in this circle, we miss people like Sheb Woolley and Johnny Russell because oh, yeah. they brought so much. I miss them so much. They, oh, they were, yeah. And when we'd go into restaurants, which that's where we were most of the time, <laughs> uh, Johnny and Sheb were, you know, down. Um, they were they were telling their jokes, and and Johnny would say to somebody, uh, "Did you see uh, Outlaw Josie Wales with uh, Outlaw Josie Wales with uh, Clint Eastwood?" And they'd say, "Yeah." Well, Johnny said, do you see him in it? And the guy or lady would say, no, I don't think so. And Shell would jump down and just show his head because he was one that was buried into the ground. <laughs> he would just jump down on the floor and just show his head over his face. <laughs> I mean, I could go on for hours on these stories, but it was really something to be with those guys. I loved them both very much and miss them I, just, just more than you know. But Johnny would also, when he was in rehab at Baptist, when he was really getting pretty bad, you know. He was in rehab at Baptist, and uh, he knew I liked to sleep late in the morning, but he'd keep me up there at night at night till sometimes 1 or 2 o'clock. My wife would get worried thinking something was wrong, you know. So uh, one night he, he kept me up there, you know, and, and I found out what it was for because the walkway over, the, over Church Street they opened up the cafeteria, and he found out when it was, like at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh and I had to push him all the way over and all the way back. Oh and that was before I lost this 107 pounds. <laughs> and then you had to kill me. I thought I was going to die. They had little benches along the way, and I said, man, I'm going to have to sit down here and rest. So I rested and all. But every other day, he would call me about 7 or 8 in the morning because he'd get up early. And he'd say, what you doing? And I'd say, well, well, I was asleep, John. He'd say, would it stretch our friendship if I ask you to go by McDonald's and get me an egg and a, and a cheese, an egg and bacon biscuit? Yeah. So don't bring no cheese. That's bad for me. <laughs> but I was always bringing food up, you know, and I noticed the nurses and people looking at me like, gosh, what is this guy? He's trying to sabotage him. But he had ordered, you know, spaghetti from Fazoli's, and, and he loved the potato soup at Shawnee's. And I was always going, and when I told him at Shawnee's, I was getting one cup, a big 20-ounce uh, uh, plastic styrofoam cup. They said, what do you keep coming by here for and buying this soup? This was over by Metro Center. I was on the way to the hospital. I'd say, well, you ever heard of Johnny Russell? Oh, Lord, we love Johnny Russell. We hear him on the opera and see him on the TV, you know, and... We love Johnny Russell, and so after that, they'd make me take two for the same price. And a lot of times, they'd say, you coming for Johnny? And I'd say, yeah. They'd, they'd say, here's two cups of potato soup. Take it on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't owe us nothing. So I, of course, I didn't, uh, I always bought it anyway. I didn't try to collect from John, but he was just, he was just a trip. I'll tell you, I could go on and on about the stories that we uh, things we went through. Well, you're a you're a trip too. You've written a lot of great songs, and you're a great piano player. I couldn't. You've told me all these all these food things. One of your big hits was called Butter Beans. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I believe. Just about everybody here today has mentioned Butter Beans, and I thought I was going to do it, but they got me on another song. Well, you wrote a big hit song, and you cut the original record of it, and then I think Conway Twitty. Yeah, came I had, a, and had a. I wrote uh, George Keith pulling on my ring, and Owen Bradley was my producer too at MCA, and. And Conway, we were playing at McCormick Place in, uh, in uh, Chicago, and he said, you got a song on one of your albums I'm fixing to record. And I, th I thought, oh, it's, he's just probably, you know, trying to make me feel good. But by golly, he did. He recorded it, and it was one of his big records, you know, and it's in four of his albums. And then Charlie Pride, uh, wherever he's at tonight, we talked about it earlier uh, when we first got here. Charlie Pride put it in the... Some, uh, well, he was going to put it on a single, but Conway beat him out with it. And it's in the Some, Someone Loves You Honey album and also Charlie Pride Gold. Well, could we get the original version from Little well, David Wilkins? the version that I actually wrote first of all. All right. Get it, buddy. I'm wired up today. <laughs> <laughs> wired up. Little David Wilkins. Put this in a Johnny Russell 
coat pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I believe this is going to work. Steel man has got to be with me. Georgia. Sweet, sweet Georgia. Keeps pulling on my ring. Most men would give their right arm or anything they own to have a woman just like you to be waiting when they come home. But the devil made me cheat on you just one too many times. And honey, I'm sorry She left heaven on my mind Everybody sing now Georgia, sweet Georgia Keeps pulling on my ring I need her and I love her Lord, she's a sweet and precious thing Her sweet And easy loving Lord Beats all I've ever seen And Georgia Sweet, sweet Georgia Keeps pulling on my ring I didn't Want to fall in love with anybody else But when I, I tasted heaven Lord, I just couldn't help myself I pray someday that you forget And forgive me for all these things But I just can't seem to love you with Georgia pulling on my ring. Uh. Georgia, sweet Georgia, keeps pulling on my ring. I need her and I love her. Lord, she's a sweet. And precious thing Her sweet And easy loving Lord Beats all I've ever seen And Georgia Sweet, sweet Georgia Keeps pulling On my ring David, well, just, I know you hadn't rehearsed this with the band or anything. Just a couple of lines of butter beans. Yeah, yeah. See, boys. Oh, when Bradley came to one of my concerts one night, and he said, you know, we got to do that song as a joke. He just loved it. Radio stations all around the country started having butter bean eating contests. I tried to stay out of them, but... The first one happened up in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we had a truck driver that ate 72 ounces of butter beans. The last time we saw him, he was just floating over the city, <laughs> heading for Lookout Mountain. Everybody said, that's a natural gas, isn't it? <laughs> well, just a bowl of butter bean. Pass the cornbread, if you please. I don't want no collard green. All I want is a bowl of butter beans. I'm gonna skip and do the verse that made this song a hit. You see. 
That woman, she's over there The one with both hands in the air Where are you, honey? She's not pregnant as she seems She's just full of them good old butter beans. Yeah, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. That was a hit first. That's what Owen said. Thank you, man. Oh, okay. That's terrific. Thank you all very much. Thank you for coming to see us.